Hi everyone, this is Aruna. Happy to meet you again with a new video. In this video session, we are going to learn about some sounds that are made by our body. Let's get started. First, we are going to see two sounds that are made from our nose. The first one is sniffle. When we have severe cold or running nose, we used to sniffle our nose. Especially kids, they don't know how to blow their nose. So they sniffle their nose often during cold. The next word is blow the nose. It is an opposite action of sniffling. Blowing the nose will help one to get rid of the cold as early as possible. If you see a small kid uh, keeps on sniffling its nose, you can tell that small kid that blow your nose. Tamil Solvala Pai Mooka Sindhitwanda. That is the expression. Blow your nose. The next word is sniff. Sniff means vasana pudikaradu or mopam pudikaradu. Here the chef is sniffing the dish. Usually dogs are used in the police department to sniff and find out the criminals or the culprits. And the next term is yawning. Our favorite action. So whenever we feel tired or bored, we used to yawn. Next comes snore. Snoring means korata vedadal. Okay, so and some people, they never allow others to sleep by their snores. They used to snore very loudly at nights. The next words are burp and belch. Burp means a mild emission of gas from our stomach through mouth. Especially when we drink Coke or Pepsi, we burp. At the same time, if the burp comes out with a loud noise, it becomes a belch. Especially after a heavy meal or a grand dinner, we used to belch. The apam under ramma louda varappu, we call it as belch. Adhe apam milda varappu, we can use the word burp to mention that. The next word is smack. When we see our favorite dishes, we smack our lips. You can see in that picture, the small girl, she is smacking her lips after she had her favorite chocolates. Girls smack their lips after applying the lipstick on their lips. And the next picture shows you an action called cracking the knuckles. When we become tired of doing some handwork for a long time, even after writing an assignment for more than 10 pages, we feel like cracking our knuckles. It gives us a kind of relaxation. In most of the Tamil movies, we have seen some heroes cracked their knuckles before they enter into a fight scene. And some people have the habit of cracking their necks also. Snapping the fingers. Sometimes we used to snap our fingers for some musical uh, beats or songs. Sometimes it is used for counting. But it is an action of disrespect if you snap your fingers at someone. Some people used to say, And the sentence which you see on the screen is the exact expression of that sense. Don't snap your fingers at me. The next word is pant. When we do some heavy work or when we run for a very long distance, we used to pant. Muchi vangradu. Okay. In this picture, you can see the lady is panting after a long run. The next sound is gal. This sound is produced when we eat or drink something in a hurry bari. When we are very thirsty, we take a bottle of water and we drink the water directly from the bottle. At that time, when the water is swallowed, we can hear a sound from our throat. That sound can be audible to the other people, those who are standing near us also. That sound is called as gulp. The next sound is storm. This sound is produced by our leg. It shows our disappointment as well as our anger. Ramba koma rikrapanamena panu. Kala tarelabdi wadepo. 
ஓகே அண்ட் எஸ்பெஷலி குழந்தைங்க வென் தே தேர் பேரண்ட்ஸ் ரெஃப்யூஸ் டு பை தம் சம்திங் எந்த இடத்துல நிற்கிறாங்களோ அந்த இடத்துல காலை உதச்சி தே ஸ்டார்ட் டு க்ரை தட் இஸ் கால்டு அஸ் ஸ்டாம்பிங் ஆன் த ஃப்ளோர் த நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் ஃபாட் த பிக்சர் டெல்ஸ் யூ வெரி கிளியர்லி வாட் யர் ஃபாட் இஸ் so this word doesn't need a detailed explanation of what it is the final word is grumble grumble is a mild and continuous sound produced from our stomach when we feel hungry you can use the word as in the example my stomach grumbles sharply at when o'clock so pasikrappu nama vayathla irundhu varakudiya or kind of sound da nama grumble appdinu mention pannuva Okay we have come to the end of the session i hope this video would help you to learn some words that will help you to express the sounds that are created from our body these words will help you to make your communication a very effective one so try to use this in your conversation thank you for watching this video i uh, will meet you again with a new video on some other interesting topics stay safe stay home and happy learning